disturbing vulnerability for the shipping industry. Instead of using guns, it seems terrorists might be about to hijack ships or planes with computers and internet connections. John Roberts, live in Atlanta. John? Chef, every day in cars, ships, and planes, we rely on GPS systems to guide us from place to place safely and efficiently. But what happens if that technology is used against us? On the crystal blue waters of the Mediterranean, something sinister is happening. With a fairly simple GPS spoofer, researchers from the University of Texas are taking control of this $80 million super yacht. We injected our spoofing signals into its GPS antennas and we're basically able to control its navigation system with our spoofing signals. In fact, they were able to turn the ship left or right, take it way off course. And all the time, the yacht's GPS indicated it was moving in a straight line. When he captures the, the GPS receivers, nothing changes. There's no, there's no indication at all that uh, anything's wrong. The Costa Concordia tragically demonstrated what can happen when a cruise ship veers from its intended path. And every day, hundreds of huge ships ply narrow waterways critical to our economic lifeblood. So you've got 90% of the world's cargo going across the seas. Imagine shutting down a port. Imagine running a ship aground. These are the kinds of implications we're worried about. What's most disturbing, while the Department of Homeland Security is aware of the university team's experiments, it is doing nothing to secure the civil GPS system. It's a very serious, uh, I think, Homeland Security issue. Uh, that we've asked the secretary to review and look at, uh, and she's never responded to my, uh, my request. The lack of action at the DHS is concerning enough that the Government Accountability Office is now looking into what is and isn't being done to address the threat. A draft report is due out at the end of August, and Chef, what's even more troubling about all this is that these are very similar GPS systems to the one used on aircraft, and Professor Humphrey says those could be taken over too. Jeez, John Congressman McCall says he wants the feds to declare the GPS system part of our critical infrastructure and take steps to protect it from cyber terrorists.